Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. It's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147. Now I've had this box for a while. As you may be able to see, this is a Diamond Art Club painting. It was one that I sort of felt a little bit like I needed to purchase. Um, Diamond Art Club, as you may know, is an American company, but I'm in the UK and this painting, if you may have seen it when it did come out, is sort of UK related. And I say sort of because it's not something we claim exclusive rights to. Um, but Oh, that's just my delivery slip. I thought I had more in the box then. I was like, what else did I order? But I felt compelled to purchase the People's Princess. Um, so this is a Mandy Manzano of Princess Diana. And I kind of felt like it was one I would like in my collection. Now, it's been out for a while. It did arrive while I was in the middle of doing my June waffle. And due to sort of previous commitments and other unboxings that I needed to do, I'm only just getting round to it. But I'm kind of excited. So this is um, a sticker. So that's one that they say you can use to put in your logbook or anywhere you'd like. So I think I'm going to put that in my logbook, because I can. Ooh. Okay, is there any more in there? Oh, there is. I think it's the toolkit. Yeah, so it is around. We have got the standard Diamond Art Club toolkit. But it's that painting I want to see. Painting, painting, painting. Let's have a look at what this looks like. Kind of excited. <gasps> now this is going to have a lot of black. I know it is, but look, oh, look at that. It's it's just the fact that not only has it got swirls, of which I do agree when there is black, there's a lot of black, but it has got pattern in some of the swirls as well. Some of it's the light, but some of it, you know, that's not the black black, has got. Just an, a nice pattern to it. And then, of course, once we get above the dress, even the background has something to it. And then we do have a special diamond in with this one. We have 1AB by the looks of it, but then we do have a special diamond so let's have a look at what they are let's turn it on its side so that you can still see you tilt your head you can see the image oh so we've got the cover the, the sheet that's printed with the individual peel off stickers so this will be nice they do also include in this whole sticker thing you've got start date and end date so in effect you've got like a lot of logbook type things all mixed in so maybe I'll put that one in my logbook or maybe I'll decide to cut that one out I'm not sure I will keep them both together it does come with step-by-step -step instructions but let's have a look Ooh. let's get in it Okay, it is around. We do have, oh, so we do have some nice little pops of pink, which I'm guessing is round her lips. Um, we have quite a few other nice muted colours. We've got a lot of 310 in here. Oh, we've got a lot of 3371 as well, and 3799. So we've got two bags of 3371. What's that one? That's that star. Okay, so it's actually sort of this colour here, making it all dark. And then 3799 is actually this T. So yeah, 
there is sort of black, brown and grey. I think this is where I'd have to start the painting because then I can get the nice colour further up rather than doing the colour and then being left with the black. For black, four bags. Most of the black is at the bottom. Uh, we also have a lot of greys as well. But when you look at the painting, that is to be expected. Um, we've got a lot of grey there as well. We've got 3865, which is a white. And then it is a white AB, 141. And it is the symbol with the number one. So there's quite a lot of AB up here. There's some AB coming off to the side, going all the way round and all the way round these sorts of swirls as well. And there is a little bit down here at the bottom. So there is a scattering of AB throughout the picture, which I do tend to find Diamond Art Club do. There's a lot in her hair. There's a lot of AB round her cheek line and stuff. Then of course we've got some of the you know, the nicer, more pops of colour around her hair and her face. And then we have these bigger, oh, they're sort of pearl shaped, but they're not all AB coated. Looks a bit like frog's eyes, is what I'm thinking. So these go in her tiara, but they're sort of, coated but I, I don't they're not coated all the way that's a little bit different it's as though they've been dunked in a little bit of AB coating but it's not all the way around the diamond that's very weird you see they look like frog's eyes I mean maybe that's not what frog's eyes look like but you know that's just that's just the first thing that came to mind um, they have like just a, a dab on the top of AB coating or what looks like an AB coating and it's not the light because I'm moving these around in all sorts of weird ways and it's definitely not the light. I don't know if that's the way they're supposed to be. Maybe I'll have to go and see if somebody else has, has done an unboxing and if they've got the same. But just to show you, they go in her tiara. Can you see where it's got that number four, which is bigger? So it's like the space of four round diamonds. That's where these go. And there's, there's a lot more sort of interesting colours in her tiara, in her eyes and in the jewellery. So I think this is definitely something that you'd have to sort of start at the bottom. You know, that's got all your blacks, your browns, your greys and then some of your other lighter colour greys <clears throat> all seem to be down here. What's that one? That's your darker grey. What's that one there? 317, so yeah, that's your lighter grey. K414, that's a grey. 413, that's a grey. So yeah, you've got a lot of greys and blacks down here, so I definitely want to start at that end and then get up to, you know, more warmth and colour by the time I'm sort of starting to have had enough of black. <laughs> but I felt like I needed to do this painting. And I think it's going to be really, really nice, actually. I'm hoping that the shading in the face looks just as good as it does at the moment, because sometimes it's skin tone shading that can look a bit harsh. But yeah, I have got the, per the Pupils Princess in my supplies to do. I'm not sure how quick I'm going to get it done. I do have quite a few paintings on the go at the moment. I'm not sure whether she's going to push the queue or whether she's going to sit just in my, you know, stash waiting for her turn. But I am glad that she's in my possession. And it is going to be a painting that I will get to at some point. I am just really wondering if they are supposed to be. I mean, maybe they'll look different by the time they've got other diamonds placed around them. Sort of hiding part of it. But yeah, I have frog's eyes as well. 
it will still add a nice different bit of sparkle and if they don't look right I could always change them but isn't she beautiful I think she's nice anyway so thank you so much for joining me um, I'm going to pop this one away in my stash and see how long I can wait before she needs to be done um, but yeah she's a nice size 46 by 66 so not too bad not too big and definitely not too small for the cost thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon